G'day everyone, I'm glad you're here because in today's episode of Let's Remember we're taking a look at a little game called Jazz Jackrabbit Holiday Hair Edition. Released in 1995, developed and published by Epic Mega Games Incorporated. This one came out after the original Jazz Jackrabbit and I believe it was given away for free to promote the original game. Uh, as such, it is quite short apparently, but I've never played it so I want to look at it. Uh, since Jazz Jack Rabbit was my favorite game ever as a kid, it was the first game I ever played, and as such, my favorite game ever played uh, when I was a kid, at least. I was totally obsessed with it, but I only had the demo and I played the crap out of it. Uh, it was also the first video I ever did was on the main game of Jazz Jack Rabbit, so if you want to see how terrible that was, uh, maybe I'll throw up a link. Uh, it's kind of embarrassing though, so um, just be warned. Let's have a look at how this uh, differs. From the main game, if at all. A loading candy on planet. Okay, a planet of candy. Whoa, that looks incredibly dull for a planet of candy. Okay. Hello? Okay, there we go, we're good. Well, it's it's much more colorful than the surface of the planet would, would lead you to believe, but uh, here we go. Uh, what are my buttons? I've already forgotten what buttons I mapped to do what things. Oh my god, please work. I'll be... Uh. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, technical difficulties. <laughs> let's, uh, let's, we can actually play it now, so let's go! I love this already. It's so colorful and um, I guess it kind of has a bit of a Christmas theme. What are these? Are these some kind of firecrackers? I have no idea. Ooh, candy cane! Alright, and there's dancing rats everywhere. They look a bit like uh, Jazz's friend Spaz to me. It was in Jazz Jack Rabbit 2, if anyone's familiar with that. Probably not. Ah, oh, there might be someone out there. Wow, okay. There's probably not going to be a hell of a lot to com uh, comment on. It's, it's, it looks like it's probably the exact same as the original Jazz Jack Rabbit game, and that's not a bad thing. It's just uh, I know exactly what I'm in for, and I know what this is all about and how it's done. Um, if you're not familiar with Jazz Jack Rabbit, it was inspired by... Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, hence the uh, incredible speed in which he runs and the way his little legs go crazy when you get some speed up like that. But he was like, he's like more badass than Sonic because he has a freaking gun and a bandana and, a, and a, even more of a badass attitude. Maybe. I don't know. I love him though. He's a cool little character and I, I hope one day we see more Jazz Jack Rabbit, but uh, I'm not holding my breath. Um, the games still hold up fairly well, but uh, they are a bit too fast for their own good. Um, it can cause you to take a lot of damage that you wouldn't otherwise take if the camera was maybe a little bit more zoomed out and a little less, a uh, little less speedy would would have been good. But it's okay. It's good. Jazz Jag Rabbit's good, and it's ah, it's very colorful and gorgeous, and um. And it's oh tits. Okay, I'm dead. But we got a checkpoint, so it's all good. I probably should have played this on easy mode because it can be quite hard um, if your natural instinct is to run fast, which it is, because Jazz Jack Rabbit moves incredibly fast. What are these? Oh, the chocolates are Epic Mega Games brand chocolate. Good luck finding a game uh, produced by Epic Mega Games that doesn't have. The Epic Mega Games name or logo hidden somewhere in the game, by the way. I think I've noticed it in every single one I've done so far, but I may I may be wrong. But they sure are proud of their games, and that, that's probably a good thing. <laughs> ah, watch out for the scary rats. What are these green things I'm standing on? Are they some kind of lollies or something? I don't know. I still don't know what these uh, gray things are. They Maybe they, they are some kind of firecracker like I mentioned, but um, I'm not well versed in firecracker... Uh, ooh. Hey, that's a good reason to stop my sentence before I embarrass myself too much. An extra life! A one-up, I should say. Oh, carrot carrots represent health, by the way, if that wasn't obvious. And, um... Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, end of level, sweet! So at the end of level, you have to shoot a sign and it turns to your face, much the same way that Sonic the Hedgehog runs past the sign and then it turns into his face. Uh, okay. Let's see, how do I change weapons? Oh, here we go. So I got, oh, a launcher, my favorite weapon. I love this thing. 
It shoots off little bouncy things that go ape shit. Oh, I'm out of them already. Never mind. Uh, I really would have loved this so much as a kid. So much. And I was just thinking it's 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 been like uh, about six months since I started this channel and uh, the original Jazz Jack Rabbit, as I mentioned, was the first video I ever did and not to toot my own horn or anything, but it's pretty uh, it's pretty crazy how much you can improve in that much time. Uh, obviously, there's still a lot of improvement to, to go and to come in in the way I produce my videos and speak over them and stuff like that. But man, I didn't know what the hell I was doing with that first episode, and it's so bad. I feel like one day I might redo it for a special occasion or something like that. I have no idea what what to say so if anyone out there is just starting a YouTube channel don't feel bad if you're terrible at it I mean I, I still feel like I'm I'm very new and kind of bad at what I'm doing but some people seem to enjoy it and thanks so very much for uh, those of you who are watching it um, it means a great deal to me I uh, I do this all for fun I I don't make a cent out of it but uh, yeah that might change one day I would never promise that I would never use ads on my videos, but as it is now, I'm just having a good time. And I hope you're having fun with me as well. Ah, oh, ja, ja, ja. I really want to get to the end of this level so we can see a different themed level because uh, it changes every two levels. I don't know what the theme of this one is, just candy, I guess, since it's the candy land. I mean, the candy themed world. Planets, whatever. I could really do with some carrots right about now if you wanna. Ah, tits! Okay, alright, alright, alright. <laughs> okay, we're back. Uh, yeah, it didn't take long to get back here because I found an invincibility thing that I missed the uh, last time. Anyway, ah! Another thing I should comment on is I'm working on a bunch of biscuits. No, um, the music in Jazz Jack Rabbit is fantastic and it seems to be just as cool in this one. It sounds like a kind of take on a Christmas carol of some sort? I'm not entirely sure. Maybe I'll, um... I don't know, maybe I'll turn the music up for a second for you. I don't know, I like it anyway. Whatever it is, I like it. Can I have the end of the level, please? Oh, there we go. Okay. So let's just take a quick look at the second area. I'm not gonna make this video too long. Oh, I love it when he ducks down like that. Wait, what's this world called? What's this called? Bloxonius. Okay. It looks just as dull as the first one. Oh, it's all made of like Lego bricks. That is so cool. Oh, the music sounds banging in this one. Oh, I love it. Dude. Do, 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 do. Okay, so ow, so it's a Lego land basically and there's a sad looking teddy bear and some Lego type men Ah, oh, this is so neat. Uh, whoa, what is this? All right, it's a haha. <laughs> it's a puppet Hmm, I'm not afraid of puppets whatsoever. What's this look epic mega games logo once again? Can I do anything with this? No, okay Ah <sighs> So I, I think I'll probably just end it here because, you know, you've got the idea of what Jazz Jack Rabbit's all about, but I really love how they've just, uh, you know, they've creatively had a lot of fun with the design of these levels, and man, I almost want to cry because I wish I had this as a kid. It would have just melted my heart to play a level especially like this one. It's like little toys, and then there was the candy one. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Go play some Jazz Jack Rabbit if you if you have some time. It's it's really a it's it's Groot. It's Groot. No, it's I am Groot. Sorry, I, that came from nowhere. Oh, what's that? Ah, uh, it's a Jack in the Box styled after Devon Shell, who is an evil turtle, who is also the boss of the Jazz Jack Rabbit games. If that wasn't obvious already. Oh, gotta stop talking. Gotta stop gushing. I'm gonna go and play this for another five hours. No, I think it's only about half an hour long. But anyway, thanks so much for watching, everybody. I will see you next time. Remember to like and subscribe if you want to do me a big favor. And uh, hey, shit, keep it fancy.